Hello, my name is George Hewn, and welcome to Bubble Chart Pro. What do you do when you have a lot of projects to choose from, and many are as different as apples are from oranges, and you want to rank those projects as objectively as possible? With just a few choices and a few criteria, it isn't that difficult, but when you have dozens of choices and multiple criteria, it becomes extremely difficult, and that's where Bubble Chart Pro Plus can help. In this video, I'll give you the background on the built-in SMART methodology that Bubble Chart Pro Plus uses to objectively rank your projects based on your preferences. As I mentioned, Bubble Chart Pro Plus uses the SMART methodology to rank your projects. SMART stands for Simple Multi-Attribute Rating Technique. The SMART system was developed and refined by researchers from Harvard, MIT, and the University of Southern California. As you'll see, the SMART system lets you strategically rank your projects based on what's important to you. All the mathematics used in the ranking system are all built into Bubble Chart Pro, so you don't need to do any math. This video will give you a basic understanding of how the system works, so you'll be able to see the underlying logic and robustness of the SMART methodology. We will start by using a simple car buying decision as an example. When you are making a purchasing decision, you are comparing many different buying criteria such as price, appearance, gas mileage, and brand, so buying a car is a multi-criteria or multi-attribute decision. The criteria or attributes that you use can be used to compare different cars no matter if the car is a fast expensive race car, a large minivan, an SUV, or an economical compact. However, because different car buyers will have different buying goals, they will rank the importance of these attributes differently. So gas mileage might be the most important attribute to one buyer, and engine horsepower might be the most important to another. The key thing to remember here is that cars as a group have a common set of attributes associated with them, but individual cars have different values for those attributes. For example, every car has a cost attribute associated with it, but the individual cost for each car is different. So car buying requires a multi-attribute decision, and each attribute has a range of attractiveness associated with it. For example, low cost to high cost, high miles per gallon to low miles per gallon, and less room to more room. And these attributes require trade-offs. For example, a high-powered car will probably have lower gas mileage than a lower-powered car, and a smaller sports car will definitely have less room than a minivan. Because each one of these attributes has a range associated with it, and because as a car buyer, you may have a preference on either side of these ranges, such as preferring lower cost to higher cost, we can express these preferences graphically. So your attribute attractiveness can be expressed as value points and displayed graphically. In this chart, the attribute values are plotted on the horizontal or x-axis, and the corresponding value point score is plotted on the vertical or y-axis. The left side of the chart shows that cars that get less than 10 miles per gallon have no attractiveness or zero value points. On the other end of the x-axis, cars that get 50 miles per gallon are the most attractive with 100 value points. Most cars would have gas mileage ratings between 10 and 50 miles per gallon, and would have value point scores between 0 and 100. Here is another example. This one is for the attribute called cost. In this case, cars priced at $60,000 or more earn no value points for cost, and cars priced at $20,000 or less earn 100 value points for cost. Of course, there are cars that cost more than $60,000, and there are cars that cost less than $20,000. But this chart reflects this buyer's preference that cars costing more than $60,000 and cars costing less than $20,000 will not be considered. Spending $20,000 would be this buyer's best outcome, and spending $60,000 would be this buyer's worst outcome. Most cars this buyer would consider would cost between $20,000 and $60,000 and would have value scores between 0 and 100. When you're comparing cars, you consider only cars somewhere between your attribute limitations, that is, between your best and worst outcomes. The car in these charts has a cost of $24,000 and gets 22 miles per gallon. Since a cost of $24,000 corresponds to an attractiveness value of 90, and 22 miles per gallon corresponds to an attractiveness value of 30, 
The unweighted combined overall attractiveness score for this car is 120. However, scoring attractiveness in this way assumes that both attributes are equally important. In most cases this isn't true, so how do we show buyer preferences? We can express preferences in our model by weighting the attributes. For example, we can weight the gas mileage attribute at 100 and we can weight the cost attribute at 200, meaning that the cost of the car is twice as important and has twice the influence in the final value score as gas mileage. When we factor in the weights, the value score is 70. Now, it's important to remember that Bubble Chart Pro Plus performs all of the math for you automatically. All you have to do is enter your weights. The weighted overall value score, therefore, becomes the basis for objectively comparing and ranking your different projects based on your selected attributes and the relative weights that you have assigned to those attributes. In this simple example, using only two weighted attributes, you can see how Bubble Chart Pro Plus would rank the cars based on only price and gas mileage. You can see that it ranked them in the same way that you would if you did it manually, that is, ranking first by cost and then by gas mileage. However, most business investment decisions involve many more choices and many more attributes. Bubble Chart Pro Plus makes it easy to compare and rank virtually an unlimited number of choices using up to 100 different attributes. Here is a Bubble Chart Pro Plus chart displaying the relationship between the two attributes and the value score. Here you can quickly see that the car with the highest value points had the highest gas mileage and one of the lowest costs, and the car with the lowest value points had the highest cost but was in the middle range for gas mileage. You can also see how the other cars were ranked relative to gas mileage and cost. An important thing to remember here is that Bubble Chart Pro Plus is meant to support your decision making process, not make the decision for you. So it is often useful to start with a small set of projects that you have ranked and use that to develop your attributes and relative weighting model. Now that you've seen the fundamental concepts of ranking choices with our simple car example using Bubble Chart Pro Plus, you can see that you can do the same thing with business investment choices and projects. For example, you can use attributes such as cost, net present value, human resource requirements, market impact, risk and probabilities, anything that you can think of that is important to your business. For a demonstration of how easy and fast this is to do in Bubble Chart Pro Plus, be sure to see the video Smart Project Ranking using Bubble Chart Pro Plus. You can see this video and download the Bubble Chart Pro free trial demonstration version by visiting our website at bubblechartpro.com. My name is George Yoon and thanks for watching.